Okay, over here we have the graphs of these two functions right here. This is y equals 16x squared minus c squared, and the green graph is c squared, y equals c squared minus 16x squared. And we want to find the area between those two curves, which would be right in here. And so we will be forming typical rectangles where the y coordinate at the top is c squared minus 16x squared. The y coordinate at the bottom is c, 16x squared minus c squared. We do have to find the points of intersection of the two parabolas. And since they both equal y, we can set them equal to each other, go through this process right here. And there is a formula for the two points of intersection in terms of whatever c is. Uh, since these graphs are symmetric with the y-axis, we could just find the area from 0 to 1 fourth c and then double that to get the remaining area. So that's what this shows right here. I'm doubling the area from 0 to 1 fourth c of, well, c squared minus 16x squared is the y-coordinate at the top of a typical rectangle minus the y-coordinate at the bottom gives us the height or the length of a typical rectangle. Uh, that simplifies to 2c squared minus 32x squared. And I can see I can factor out a 2, which is why this became a 4. The antiderivative of c squared minus 16x squared, c squared x, remember c is just a constant. Uh, for 16x squared, raise the exponent by 1. <clears throat> divide by the, the <coughs> excuse me, new exponent, evaluated from 0 to 1 fourth C. If I put this 1 fourth C for this X, I get 1 fourth C cubed. If I put this 1 fourth C in for this X, I get 1 64th C cubed. But 1 64th times 16 thirds is this 1 12th. And if I distribute the 4, I get c cubed minus 1 third c cubed, which is 2 thirds c cubed. And this little graph right here kind of shows you that this definite integral has the same value as 2 thirds c cubed. 250 thirds. Now we want it to be 180 thirds or 128 thirds. So if I go to board two, we want two thirds c cubed to equal 128 thirds. Multiply both sides by three halves, I get 64. The cube root of 64 is four. And there is kind of an indication that when c is four, the area between the two curves is 128 thirds. Okay, there you go. By the way, if you let c equal negative 4, you get an area of negative 128 thirds. Uh, according to this formula right here. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.